Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Hydraneer, the game where you walk around in your pants, create super elaborate mining machines that allow you to mine resources like gold bars, iron bars, shards and clautium bars, and then use those bars to fix this monstrosity of a bridge. I mean, look at the trusses. Look at the trusses. They are terrible. So terrible that an engineer once rated this a 5.9 out of 10 bridge review. But thankfully, we can use those resources to make a build for like this one. And even like this one, the gemstone suspension bridge. Uh, you can even make a bridge out of poo if you want to. But if we just walk across this over this side, there is another way to make money and resources in Hydraneer. The fishing rod. So basically, you just throw this in the water. You wait for a bite. There we go. And then you've caught a little fish. And then if you rinse and repeat enough times, you can create a fish nado. Very nice. And then if we... Oh, what is that? What is that? Who are you? What? You're just mooching about. There's NPCs in Hydra Day. Uh, by the way, what, what do you think of the uh, the new bridges I built over there? Oh, actually, it hurts my frame rate looking at them. <laughs> yeah, to, to my left, what do you, what do you reckon of the, of the bridges? Pretty, pretty good addition, hey? What do you mean I could do better? What do you mean there's a resource that I should be using that I haven't used yet? I mean, clearly, if we walk over this bridge, we can see, look, I've already used fish to make a bridge. There couldn't possibly be a new resource in Hydraneer that I need to use to build a bridge, is there? Um, by the way, I just want to say you have a magnificent beard. I, I really quite like it. Um, but yes, yes, you're quite right. I should go check out the new farming update in Hydraneer and see what that's all about. So first off, if we come up to the first town, there's people everywhere. <laughs> I'm so confused. Right, so we've got the jeweler, the old... Oh, there's actually... It's a man jeweler now. Yeah, but now we have the grocer over here. So I assume you are where we're going to sell our fish and other things. Ooh, like apples, potentially. Anyway, anything new through here? Ooh, you have a speech bubble above your head. Oh, do we have quests now in Hydranet? Oh, this is so exciting. So are you saying he wants eight food and it'll give me 28 quid? All right, here we go. By appointment of the crown, item requisition. So they want a soup bowl... With eight cut tomatoes in. For a reward of 28 farm guild tokens. Oh, not quid. So where do I put this now? I don't I don't have an inventory, do I? Do I? Oh, look, there's another quest giver. You want five load of scran. <laughs> I love the Britishness of some of these. Okay, I will be back with your scran. Yeah, over in the scrapyard, the Panklang brothers. Are they actually the brothers? Are you the scrappers? Scrap make me happy. Scrap make me happy. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, we've finally arrived at Grangefield, the farming guild. Um, and remember from last video, this was all under construction, but now it's finished. Look at this place. It's insane. So over here, we've got... Oh, there's so many new things. Oh, man. Seeds are quite expensive. We're going to need like a good few hundred quid. We've got watering cans, seed boxes, vegetable baskets, plant pots. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. We have vehicles. We have like a combine harvester. Sorry, a hydro cropper. Well, first off, I guess I need to find a plot where I can do some farming. So first off, we'll head back to this place. I guess we'll just take one of these bars and we'll go sell this at the jeweler. And oh, no, that only cost two grand. I thought it was going to be way more than that. Still, we'll take that. And then I'm going to buy this hydro quad to get around quicker. So buy a oh, thank you. So grab our money, shove it on the back. <laughs> and then we'll just ride around in our pants. <laughs> oh, look at this. Uh, by the way, that's probably the biggest quad bike I've ever seen. Anyway, we need to go buy a plot. And now I feel like this one's going to be a little bit lumpy. Yeah, perhaps we could buy this place. So we'll grab our money, shove it in there, press buy. And now this is going to be the start of our farming empire. So back on the quad and uh, a quick jump over to here. We've loaded the back up with gold bars. Back to the farming place. Realize they won't accept gold as a currency. To so go back to the jeweler, wang it on the table, and that's 14 grand. So back to the farm again, <laughs> get chatted up by a woman. <laughs> but yeah, then we're going to decide what do we want to plant. I mean, people wanted tomato soup, didn't they? So we'll grab some tomato seeds. I don't know how many tomatoes we'll get from each. We're spending some fat money, though. Yeah, we'll get a few carrots as well. I assume I probably need a trowel. Yeah, I feel like we'll buy a trowel. We'll buy a sickle to cut down the crops. And then in order to make soup, we're probably going to need a soup bowl as well as a stove and a cooking pot. So we'll grab all of that stuff. That's 3,300 squid. So plonk money in there, press buy. The question is, can I put seeds in there, then pick that up? No, I can't. So we'll just pick everything up, put it on the quad bike, and then we'll take all of this stuff to our new location. So here we are. We have arrived. 
Uh, so no idea what I'm doing really. I assume, do I dig a hole? So now can I plant a seed in that? So seed, do I just drop you? No. Two hours later. So we've done it. This little seed will grow into a mighty hole. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a man enjoying what he's just planted. Nothing wrong at all. I guess the question, how close together can I build these? I mean, if I know farming, then that is an efficient way to farm. Oh, I think I've just realized you can stack these. So if I drop those seeds on those, <gasps> it's a bigger pack of seeds. Can you see the dots on the side? That's how many seeds are inside. So now I can plant several at once. Oh, nice. So we'll have our tomatoes there. I'm guessing I probably want carrots next to them. There we go. Um, oh, look, the first one we've grown, it's already started growing. All right, well, we'll leave those growing and we'll head back to the shop. Greenhouse stuff. Oh, we can build a greenhouse. Ooh, like that. Ooh. All right, I'll tell you what, can I, can I stack these here? No, I can only stack them after I've bought them. What a ripoff. Oh, that is annoying. All right, well, anyway, I'm just going to do this for a few minutes. All right, anyway, I spent the rest of my money on seeds. I just went back and got the magnet stick. So let's hope that seeds are magnetic. Nope. No, they're not. Oh, i got to pick them all up individually. I mean, thankfully, these carrots are stacking pretty well. Look at the number of dots down the sides of these. So we're going to have plenty of seeds so we can keep planting as many holes as we want. So that's all those stacked up. Uh, annoyingly, my quad is now stuck. Why won't you reverse? So we'll just press the unstuck button. There we go. And then we'll jump into our base. And we have returned and... Oh. Oh, well, they don't look very healthy. Do we need to water these? All right, so back at this shop. Oh, dear. <laughs> we appear to have left some carrots behind. But uh, no watering cans here. Now, we did see one over in this shop. Now, that cost 28 quid. So we better buy one of them. Oh, no. It's, that's a T. That's not C for quid. But I swear the watering can, it does actually say C28 there. Okay, so in order to buy a watering can, I think we need the, I think we need the tokens. And I think we can only get those by fulfilling quests. And we can only fulfill quests if we can water our crops. I'll tell you what, we'll head all the way back to our first base and we'll grab this. And then we'll plonk this on there and it did nothing. Uh, now, sadly, if I want more water to try and be a better aim and stuff, uh, there isn't any at this claim. Well, there is, except unfortunately, this claim is an aquifer, which means you have to dig down to the water. There's a bird's eye view map. So I went and got a pickaxe. So I guess we just want to want to dig a hole somewhere. I guess here, let's just dig straight down and hope that we find. Oh, no. So we have dirt we can't dig through. Perhaps they're tears of dirt. So if I go for that one, which I feel like would probably be over here somewhere. Yes, we have water. Okay, we have water. That is good. Uh, the trouble is if we look up, it's quite a way down here. And I'm not sure how to get back up. So I'm just going to keep digging this direction and hope I can find a way out. One hour later. Sunlight. There's sunlight. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, I think we have a way out now. So let's grab our bucket, head down the hole, drop it in there, climb back up to the surface, and then let's try and be a better aim when we drop this. So like that. Oh, that does work. Yes. Okay. Run over here with the water. Drop it on the plants. The plant goes green. Do it again. Man, this seems like a lot of effort. So whilst they're all green now, I feel like I should probably find a way to automate this, particularly if I want to plant all of these carrot seeds. Now, we need 28 quid in order to get the watering can. That holds four waters. That will speed things up a lot. Uh, so I assume we can like set up some pipe network. That will be useful. But I guess whilst we wait for these to grow, we're doing it the old fashioned way. Oh, they're drying out already. Why are you guys so needy? I'll tell you what we need. Some rain. Where are you, rain clouds? Yeah, considering this game has a lot of British accents, there's not a lot of British... <gasps> Tomatoes! Right, hold your thoughts, hold your thoughts. What do we have? We have a whole tomato. Right, let's go sell this thing. So, I assume I've got to put this on the table, and that will give me two... Is that C for quid? Wait, no, that's not T. Yeah, I need the tokens to buy the watering can. And that means I've got to turn this into soup. So, we'll plop this down there. That is our stove. I think we can then put the cooking pot on top. Oh, yes, that is warming up. And then I don't think we put tomatoes straight in there. I think we, we've got to use a cooking knife. There we go. We've chopped some tomatoes on the floor. Nothing like using nature's chopping board. Uh, then we shove them in there. 
Do we think we need water as well? Are they going to burn? All right, well, we'll grab some water. And I guess we'll pour that in there. So now that's water and tomatoes. Is that going to make soup? Maybe we need more tomatoes. So give that a chop. Shove it in there. Give it a chop. Shove it in there. Oh, and then I just, it just made a noise. <gasps> oh, so now I think we have soup. Can I keep adding tomatoes to make it like tastier? I think there's four in it at the moment. So if I put five. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, no, didn't want that. Okay, so let's grab the soup. Let's pour it into the soup bowl. Plonk it back on there. Oh, is that all the soup? Okay, all the soup has been has been used. But now we have a bowl of soup. So if we run all the way back to the village, it was you, wasn't it? So yeah, for five weights of tomato soup, he'll give me 18 tokens. Now the question is, how much does this weigh? Well, in the shop here, there is there is one of these. And I take my soup in. Can I plonk it on there and get a free measurement? Yes, I can. It weighs... Oh, it only weighs two. Why does it only weigh two? I clearly couldn't add any more tomato. Requirements, five cut tomato. You don't want this. Oh, yeah, I gave it to him. Oh, he's well chuffed. Is that my money? Yes, I did it. I've got it. I got the stuff. All right, can I put that in the bowl and pick the bowl? Oh, anyway, that's worth 18 teas, 18 twid. So we'll run back to the farm. We'll shove this in there. And then can we buy the watering can? Oh, it's 28 twid, isn't it? No. <laughs> How are we going to save up for like 2,000 twid? That's ridiculous. And we'll run all the way back to town and pick up the soup bowl that that guy just tossed away. And we'll run all the way back to here and then we'll make some more soup. So I have actually noticed some of these tomatoes, like when you chop them up, they're bigger than others. Is that because they've grown for longer? That's got one, two, three, four, five, six segments. But uh, some of them tend to have a little bit more. Although that one only has six. Still, we got more soup. So let's pour that out. Head across this magnificent frame rate ending bilf and see if we can remember who else wanted soup. Aha, it was you, wasn't it? Yeah, he wants eight tomatoes in his. I, I hope this will be right because I get 28 twid if so. Yes? Oh. No, it's not right. He threw it away. That is mank. Okay. Well, can we find anyone else that might want our tomato soup? Tell you what, up in the cold mountains, they're going to want some soup, surely. Do you want some soup? No, oh, he's just mooching about. Oh, nice haircut, by the way, mate. All right, well, let's just see. Maybe if we sell to the grocer, maybe he will give us some stuff. Because, look, there is... That's the symbol, isn't it? That, silly, that clearly says C and not T, though. But let's see. All right, what are... Oh, they're C's. They're not T's. All right, well, let's chop these tomatoes. Perhaps these will have more than six in them. No, six. That one, six. Now, the question is, how do I get these to grow again? Do I need to replant them? Is that, is that what the sickle's for? Do I need to... Here. Okay, so they're all gone. We can plant them again. Can I plant chopped seeds? Oh, no. I thought I did put some tomato seeds on here. Oh, that's it. I knew I left them somewhere. So we'll take these back to the claim. Do a load of planting. Do a lot of watering. And then hope they grow into something good. All right, so I put my engineering brain on. I've got a, I've got a pipe connection coming from down there. Comes all the way along here. And uh, then look, we're dropping water on top of the crops. Now, the trouble is, it appears the water can only drop from, like, certain locations. And I've got plants, like, under these joints. So you can see there's a strip there completely dry. So sadly, I think I'm going to have to trowel up these middle ones. Perhaps if we move them like that, then we can have, we have water drop directly above. So whether we can fit, like, three around each drop. So one, two... Three like that. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's get rid of all these. We're doing this proper. So let's just stack up all the seeds. Okay, so you can see where each of these drop. We've got like our droplets. So if we do... No, could we fit four in? So let's plant all of those. All right, so as long as they all stay wet, they should grow. And that means we can still get pretty much the same amount in the same space as before. And then I can just extend this and do the same for carrots and easily add like more rows and stuff. Oh yes, this is looking good. This is looking very good. What I might want to consider though is perhaps making this pipe work higher. So I feel like to automate this, I'm probably going to need like the cropper. Um, and whether that will fit under there. I mean, looks like this almost fits. Somehow he didn't hit his head there. Oh no, we are stuck. We are stuck. So yeah, be very surprised if the cropper fits. But uh, for now, I guess we'll just see if they work and then we'll continue digging holes. All right, so I've been growing this thing a little bit and unfortunately, look, 
It hasn't worked, so only only a few of them have stayed wet, really. I mean, what I could do, I could add another layer. And then if I have the hole coming out the front, that's like a slightly different angle on the water. So there we go. We've got two rows on top doing slightly different angles. No, it doesn't look like it's working, though. Yeah, so it sort of looks like for every drop, you can only have one plant. You can't have two. Oh, that is actually a shame. Still, for now, this is far quicker than doing it by hand. So they are all now planted up. That should be confirmation that the tomatoes will grow. All right, so it's been a little while. And if you can look, all of these, we are full of tomatoes. So tomatoes work successfully. However, if you look at the carrots, only one has been watered. Uh, so at the moment, we need we need a drop of water for each thing until we get the sprinkler things. Um, anyway, let's grab a tomato. And uh, I bought a fancy table because we're no longer chopping on the floor. We're not architects. Okay, so chop this up. Lovely. Oh, look how many came out of that one. So yeah, I have left these growing for quite a bit. So I think just the longer you grow them for, the more chops you get out of them. Nice. And I think as well, if I drop them on there. Yeah, can you see that? They stack. So if I just keep dropping, we get bigger and bigger stacks. All right, so pretty sure this is eight tomatoes worth. <laughs> and then hopefully if we just watch this carefully like a good chef does, uh, apparently nothing nothing will happen. Am I meant to heat the water first and then drop them in? Yeah, okay, okay, you're meant to heat the water first, then drop them in. But now we have a nice tomato soup. But anyway, I do actually have a world map here. And can you see, like, down there, there's, like, little exclamation marks? So if we head to those, we can find all the people that want soup. Oh, my goodness, you look like you need soup. Are you okay, mate? You look a bit cold. <laughs> I feel like you definitely need soup. Um, but you're only after a weight of three. Now, I know my soup is, like, a weight of eight. So no offense, I'm not going to waste it on you. Yes, you are the fussy eater. Come here. This soup should be much to your likings. So there you go. Mark. What? <laughs> you ungrateful knob. Requirements eight cut tomato. There was there was literally eight in there. All right, fine person who looks like you're on your deathbed. Eat up. Are you... What's wrong with it? All contents are by weight, not quantity. Is it too, is it too little? I've put like 10 tomatoes in here. All right, well, this time I've bought some scales. So let's weigh each of these tomatoes. So that weighs 1.3. I put like 10 tomatoes in last time. That must have been enough. All right, so that weighs 4.01, okay? I'm going to chop them on the scales. An engineer's chopping board. They still weigh 4.01. So into the pot they go. We've added some water and shoved it back on there. And there we have soup. Right, soup. Go in soup bowl. Run over to the most fussy dying man ever and give that to him. Oh, he actually ate it. Pleasure doing business. Thank you very much. So we'll take that over to this shop. Plonk it on our other coin. And now we have 31 twid. So we only need just over 2,000 more to get a sprinkler hook. <laughs> oh, it's going to take so long. What else can we buy? There's a veg dicer hook. Oh, that goes on a that goes on a conveyor belt. There's a cut veg stacker for 156. Oh, then there's all sorts. There's loads of different vegetables. Look at all these. Maple trees, pine tree. Oh, all the trees. And a cactus. But yeah, we can now afford the watering can. So we'll buy that. Take this back with us. And then perhaps I should just use one of these as like a watering can filler upper. So if I just shove that there. Yeah, that's filling up nicely. Right. And then we can water. It only waters straight down. Oh, this is actually crap. <laughs> what is this? So I thought it would like sprinkle everywhere. But look, you, you click and it just, it does one drop. Okay, so that was a waste of two hours of my life. Still, look, look at the carrots growing in there. That's like two carrots. Look at the size of that. So, oh, look, I'm pulling these out and there's actually, there's more growing underneath. Why are there so many carrots? Are there meant to be this many carrots? I'm not sure, but that's quite a good haul. What are these worth? Hello, Mr. Grocer. Oh, there's my other soup pot. I left it at the grocer. So a carrot is worth, oh, five quid. Trouble is, I need twid, not quid. I'm going to need so much. I don't even know how I meant to get that much. I mean, for now, I can keep making soup, keep giving it to fussy villagers, and uh, taking their tokens. We got 28 that time. We'll be there in no time. I love how they just pour it on the floor, but apparently that's all they wanted to do with it. So we'll take that. Thank you very much. Add it to the pile. Oh, and would you look at the map? There's now three new exclamation marks over that way. Oh, he wants carrot soup. 143. Well, Edgar, I'll see what I can do. So there's no onion I can buy with quid, but there is onion I can buy with twid. Trouble is, it costs 312. I have just 46. 
So, what do you want, mate? Tomato for 15. Got it. And you down... Oh, that's better. Three carrot for 27. I can, I can sort that out. So, let's grab a carrot. Shove it on the table. Give them a chop. Oh, they did circles, not strips. Interesting. That weighs 1.8. So, we'll grab another one. So, that weighs 3.5. So we'll add that to the boiling water. I mean, my mom was a chef, so I know a little bit about cooking. I would have thought adding sliced carrots to boiling water would make cooked carrots, not soup. Hey ho, Max knows best, apparently. Anyway, that's made carrot soup. We can pour that into there. Take it to this person. Watch them pour it on the floor. And then take their twid. And we're up to 73. So something tells me this is going to be a bit of a grind. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and this woman's goods. Bye!